back for more of this. You know, it would be super de duper awesome if this fight didn't end up taking up more videos than the entire main playthrough. Don't think we're quite there yet. <laughs> But we're starting to encroach a little bit. Maybe I should take back what I said right at the start, um, when I thought, thought this. Did I say you were, uh... Ezeb and Solgren? Can I retract that? I should have I should have had him done by now. This I had had numerous opportunities. Obviously we all know which the best one was. But this is a long drawn out fight, a bit like Solgren. You go th you get through everything, or most of everything, you get to the final phase. Everything just starts to get a little bit on edge. You're just so conscious of uh, twitching or, you know, that you're far more prone to, to make silly mistakes. I think I've been messed up a bit a few times on the timing. Probably a little par uh, you know, partially my fault in that I'm you know, messing myself up a bit. But, oh, you stupid thing. <laughs> Let's go back to complete complete failure for the first couple of parts again. But yeah, oh for a oh for God's sake, oh for a nice pattern on on that final phase. One particular attempt in my uh uh yeah one particular attempt springs to mind. Oh, that is a m thought I was going to miss that, but uh, just about hung on, but of course that means this is a complete nightmare of a jump anyway. Particularly when you're having to do little small movements. Having a pixel perfect jump is not the kind of thing I want to be doing. It also means that my jump is pretty much absolutely set. Was absolutely pretty much set in stone there. I couldn't uh, hold back if I felt that I uh, felt I was going to hit uh, a bee was going to hit me. I had to go absolutely full pelt for the ah, for the uh, platform and couldn't do anything about it if a bee was going to be in my way. Ah, yes, come on. All right, maybe just say slightly softer movements. Maybe now, slightly softer. I'm just very conscious of the damn hitboxes on the, the bombs, though. Oh. Right, you should be stationary. Ali freaking Luya, we're there. Treasure chest, you better appear. Yes. Oh, sweet mother of God, yes. Has a treasure chest ever been so richly earned? You cutting video. Okay, Musto 63 back again, and uh, I am pretty jazzed. Let's have a look 
add our characters and uh, you can see that we have unlocked everything including the York so let's just show that off again with a nice little fetching bow in his hair so uh, yeah let me switch back to uh, let me switch back to Boshi briefly so that is pretty that's pretty much going to be the end of our uh, of this playthrough um, as I said no let's not do that um, as said there will be um, now two additional uh, two additional videos um, the first one I'm not going to say exactly what it's what it uh, uh, what it is um, of course I just realized this was my easy mode uh, one play uh, playthrough where I'd actually not uh, obviously finished the game I got up to the point where uh, <laughs> world 7 was and uh, then didn't complete the rest um, yay. Um, so yeah, there will be two extra videos. The first of which um, I'm not going to say exactly what it is. I've set, I've left a couple of teasers or kind of hints uh, throughout the uh, uh, during the playthrough. Um, so um, if you do know what's coming, then uh, and you, or you've worked out what's coming, or you think you've worked out what's coming, then uh, well, congratulations. Um, if you're right <laughs> when the next video comes. Um, but yeah, the next video is um, was recorded long before I had the. Uh, a time limit problem on saving videos, stupid thing. Um, but uh, thank God it, it didn't have a, it didn't have a uh, a problem with the time limit. Um, well that would have uh, well believe me if that if this if the next video had not saved um, well, not only would people down the other end of the street heard about it, but probably people on the other side of the earth would have heard about it. I would have not been a happy bunny. So yeah, that's the that's the next video. Uh, it's kind of an extra one, um, and then after that, um, by the way, there is no commentary uh, in the in the uh, in this uh, next video. So um, um, yeah, you won't hear me uh, yap on or anything. But um, hopefully, you find it uh, hopefully you find it quite entertaining. Um, but the reason that's a second to last video is I do want to save one video uh, uh, for last, and that's going to be a kind of an epilogue video for this whole playthrough. Um, to kind of give my final uh, thoughts on the game, um, the f this fantastic game which I really, really love uh, and enjoy playing so, so much. Maybe that boss <laughs> we've just beaten uh, aside. Um, but uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to do a wrap up on the series, but I also wanted to actually, uh, in posting the uh, special video second to last, that also means I can actually talk just very briefly about. Uh, about about the special video in my in my last video, I didn't want that to be the last kind of video in the playthrough, and just have no uh, no and you know sweep it aside with no comment. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say until the epilogue. This has been Musto 0063. This has been a complete run through of I Want to Be the Boshi. Hope you all enjoyed it, and really hope uh, you enjoy the uh, special video. That should be awesome. Thanks everyone.